So this is my Raspberry Pi running over plotter and the Raspberry Pi is equipped with a Mortisier head. As you can see, uh, the blinking green light on the head indicates that the system has a GPS fix, um, which is quite nice. Um, on the other hand, that's uh, my Raymarine plotter. Um, it's not the newest model, uh, but it's still working okay. And what I would like to do is um, to export my routes and my waypoints um, from my open plotter running OpenCPM to this Raymarine plotter via Nimir. This is a serial configuration tab of uh, open plotter. As you can see, uh, on top there is the USB device uh, which uh, connects the Raymarine plotter via RS422. Uh, and uh, the second device is the um, Modisier head, uh, which is uh, connected to a virtual port. Um, Nimir is handled by Kplex uh, with an open plotter, and um, the serial Modisier head is uh, running or handled by a GPSD. For the Kplex part, you could see the NEMIA interface and it's configured uh, to both directions, so it's a bidirectional interface sending and receiving NEMIA data. I opened the diagnosis uh, input output dialogs, and as you can see, uh, we have a lot of uh, messages uh, floating around. So um, that part already seems to work. It's quite important that you set the speed to 4800 baud. Uh, that was my initial error because if you set the wrong baud rate, um, both devices are not able to talk the proper way. For the Raymarine plotter, we um, first need to go to the setup and um, then we can go to system setup uh, and we can go to system integration. And then we have the NEMIA settings, and uh, here it's quite important that you set the port to 4800 baud as well. In addition to the debug output on the OpenCPN side, we could just um, move the internal GPS, turn it off, and um, so that the GPS via NEMIA is used, and then we can take a look at the GPS status. And we will find um, that there are various satellites visible and they are in use. Uh, obviously, um, that's, uh, that the plotter is uh, sitting on my table, so uh, there is no chance that the internal uh, GPS gets so many satellites. So um, that's currently the external GPS antenna, which is connected to the Odyssey head of the Raspberry Pi open plotter. Right, this is a quite nice dashboard. Um, it's running uh, on signal K on the open plotter Raspberry Pi and it's visualizing all the data which uh, is processed by signal K and uh, you can also see like um, status of the GPS uh, heading uh, all these nice uh, telemetry data. Switch over to OpenCPN. Um, so I prepared a route with uh, three waypoints actually. We can take a look at the uh, Routes and Tracks Manager. We will see the, uh, the route, uh, which is named Test. And um, we see our three waypoints here, part of this route. Just to give you the complete picture, um, I will quickly show you the um, connection settings of uh, OpenCPN. Um, this is how I set up OpenCPN to communicate with the other components of OpenPlotter. Now we're going to send the route and waypoints to the Raymarine system. Um, I open the route and mark manager. I have my test route here. Uh, and we have this little button sent to GPS. So I'm going to just test it. Um, I have the serial device which connects the Raymarine. And I'm going to press the send button now. So a little progress indicator seems to succeed. Um, on the Raymarine side, uh, I have the chance in the uh, map view to review routes. So I'm just going to open it and unfortunately no routes are here. And that was the point where I almost gave up. What I found out, if you just enter the setup menu, and go to the system setup and go to archive and transfer, yeah. That provides you uh, an option, transfer on the mirror, which I'm going to activate now. And um, 
There is also an option now on Nimir port 1. I would like to receive something on Nimir. And I'm now going to send the routes to GPS again. So it takes a while. And now we already receive a waypoint conflict. Um, we're just going to replace this waypoint and we're going to stop the transfer. And now you can see that I have uh, three waypoints. This is my waypoint one, two, three. And these are exactly the same waypoints I have here on my OpenCPN. Having our routes and waypoints now on the Raymarine, what we can finally do is just switch over and activate the routes. So this is our test route. And now we can just activate it by follow route. And we have our next waypoint in 4.4 article miles. So, mission completed.